The family of a teen who drowned last month in Mission Beach is waiting to find out if a body found early this morning is their son. It's our top story here on The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Crews responded to the scene about 5.30 a.m. after a man's body was found on the rocks at Sunset Cliffs. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal joins us live with what we've learned out there today. Kelly. That's right, and it could take a while before the medical examiner's office is able to determine the identity of the person who was found. Now, police say the body was badly decomposed uh, to the point where all they really could say was that it was the body of a male. Now, it was a fisherman who actually found the body or spotted it here at the rocks on Sunset Cliffs and called police. It did take some time to recover the body. He was wedged into some of the rocks. We speculate at this point that the high tide came in last night around 10 p.m. is probably when the body was washed ashore. And with the low tide, the body was um, wedged in between some of the boulders and some of the rocks. And police say it took some time for San Diego Fire Rescue to arrive here with the proper equipment and then to carefully remove the body from the rocks and transport it up the cliff so it could be taken to the medical examiner's office. Now, they don't think this is someone who fell. They do believe it was someone who was already in the water and washed ashore. The question was asked, do you think this is the body of 18-year-old Woodlane Zache, uh, the teen who drowned at Mission Beach last month? And police say they're not going to speculate. However, we did talk to the Zache family attorney, Evan Walker, and here's what he said. We don't know. What we do know is that as of tomorrow, Woodlane Zache has been missing for a month. It's been a hard month for the family. The family are stuck in this position of just not knowing and they want their son to be found but as of yet he hasn't been and he says uh, they're just waiting for closure he says the way that they lost their son is just so devastating and the fact that they're still waiting uh, to bury him is heartbreaking heather and carlo I can't imagine how painful this is they find this body they don't know if it's their son. They have to wait to find out. So what is next in this process? When might they find out? Yeah, I mean, it could be a while, but for right now, the medical examiner's office has the body. They will work to identify who the person was. Uh, meanwhile, the police will conduct an investigation of their own. Now, if it does turn out to be the teen who drowned at Mission Beach last month, um, the family is just hoping that they will be able to have a funeral and to bury him. They say this whole process has been just devastating. They still have a lot of questions, and they're hoping that the city does a full investigation. Yeah, certainly heartbreaking to watch what they've been through. Kelly Hesedell reporting live from Sunset Cliffs. Thanks.